6th of February 2023. To Baby F, I had my first dream about you today. It felt so real. I was trying to dress you for the first time and your auntie Shah was helping me figure out what to put you in and how many layers we should go with. It was all a little big for you, but we got there in the end. The dream felt so real. I could feel how much I loved you and I could see your little features. I think I know what your name's going to be as well. It's 4.45am now and I can't wait for your dad to wake up so I can tell him all about it. Love, Mum. 19th of March, 2023. To Baby F, today's my first Mother's Day being your mum. I feel so blessed to be able to feel you wiggling away and being able to tell that you're getting stronger and stronger. Each day that goes by brings me closer to meeting you. Today, I'm not only reflecting on the chance I have been given to be your mum, but also how grateful I feel to have so many strong women to have brought me up to become the person that I am. I've had the best role models that brought me the knowledge through their life lessons that I will also hand down to you. The 2nd of June 2023, 2 Baby F. Today marks my last day at work before I go on mat leave. I cannot believe how fast the time has gone. Before I know it, he'll be here. Geth, Tash and Izzy arrived two days ago and it's already been amazing having them here. Your Uncle G's reaction to my belly was the best. He came through the hallway, put his bags down instantly, gave me a hug and kissed you. Well, your bump. It was a precious moment. 2nd of October 2023. To my darling daughter, Isla Ann Freestone. Today you are three months and four days old. I have been putting off starting this entry as I know that there are no amount of words that could ever truly describe my love for you, but I promise to spend the rest of my life trying. The last three months have been a complete whirlwind. You have filled your dad and I's life with so much love. Your smiles light up that day and we cannot believe how much you're growing and changing already. The last few months have been the most challenging as we navigate how to be parents and how to look after you. You're such a great baby. You already take everything in your stride. Soon we'll be off to Australia for your first holiday, which is so incredibly exciting. The 20th of November, 2023. To Isla, we have both been in Australia for over a week now. Let me tell you, the time has absolutely flown. You did so incredibly well on the flights. So much so, the people around us commented on how well behaved you had been. Your Uncle Geth and Auntie Tash are married now. Their wedding was truly magical. During the ceremony, you enjoyed looking at everyone and the sparkly lights and even almost fell asleep. You were awake for the canapes, only just, where you met loads of people. Then you fell asleep in my arms and we shared a few dances together while you stayed asleep, which was a moment I will always remember. 13th of January, 2024. To Isla. We are going to leave to head to England tomorrow and we had such an amazing time here in Australia. You've well and truly enjoyed every moment. We've made some incredible memories here and I cannot wait to look back and show you all the photos. You are adored and loved by so many people. We are truly lucky as a family and I hope you grow up appreciating being an Aussie. It's important to me that you feel a great connection to this beautiful country. The 3rd of February, 2024. To my darling Isla, last night you slept in your own room for the very first time. You did super well, only waking up twice, once for your dummy and once for a feed. You're learning and growing up so much. We love you. 26th of February 24. Dear Isla, just a quick note, a reminder of how much I love you. I've started doing some kit days at work and starting to spend some time with friends. It's been good for me, but I miss you when I'm away. You're the light of my life, baby girl. Love, Mum. Fourteenth of April, twenty-four. This weekend, it was just you and I, as Dad was at a stag do. We had a lovely three days of mum and daughter time. We went to the farm and messy play session, and saw Nan and Pop. Eighteenth of April, twenty twenty-four. This weekend is your Auntie Shah's baby shower. We are hosting and it's going to be so lovely. I cannot wait for you to have another little cousin. 25th of May, 
The last few weeks have been full of firsts. Your first week of nursery and my first week back at work. Isla, you absolutely flourish and put everything in your stride. You're such a trooper. Your key worker's name is Chloe, but you have a great relationship with everyone that works there. They have said you absolutely love your food and you're happy playing with all the toys and love getting messy. My first week at work has been well, but I miss you so much. Being your mum is the best. I get emotional when nursery don't send me photos of you. It always makes me feel better getting pictures. It's crazy to think that our journey together has only just started. We have so many milestones to reach. I am already so proud of you, of everything that you do, and I know it's only going to continue. I'll always be your biggest supporter, and so will your dad. I'll always be the emotional one and soppy one, hence these letters, and I'm sure your dad will always be the funny one and the of voice June, of reason. We love you so to much. Isla. I cannot believe you turn one years old mm. next week. It's actually insane. Your personality is amazing. You're so happy, cheerful, funny, a little crazy at times, but very smart. I cannot believe that in almost a week's time, well, actually earlier than that, I would have been being induced and on the journey to having you. Your dad and I love you more than words could ever say. Thank you for being your incredible self. Love, Mummy.